Hey guys, today's video is pretty much round two to getting that clutch freed up. So let's go. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Thanks for sticking around and watching as we rescue this old bus from the forest. I want to let you guys know I really appreciate you watching. And thank you to all my new subscribers. Now if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. You know, it's free to you and it really benefits me. So thank you. I also wanted to announce that I do have the membership option for my channel. You know, you get all the regular perks of being a member. You also get behind the scenes some photos, updates, and the coolest part is you're directly involved with the restoration and rescue of this bus and any other cars that I rescue. So if you want to be directly involved with helping me rescue these old cars, please consider becoming a member of my channel. I really appreciate it. You know, along with all the support from you viewers, there's a few channels I'd like to give some shout outs to. Of course, there's all the channels that you've probably heard of like Vice Grip Garage and Junkyard Digs. There's also DD Speed Shop. Well, and there's been a couple other channels that have been very helpful in me getting started. You know, there's BW's Garage, and he's building a wicked 55 Chevy Gasser. And he does a Friday night live stream that we all get together and share what we're building. So check out BW's Garage and his Friday night live streams. There's also a local fabricator and tattoo artist, Jonathan Wade. Handmade Hooligan is his channel. Gotta check him out, man. He does great work. Of course, you can't forget Puddin's Fab Shop and Mortsky's Repair. Those guys are hilarious. Check them out. As well as all the guys over at Coastal Auto Reaction and the whole family over at Restored. 
Now I'm going to place my mailing address in the description below, and it's also in the about section of my channel. If you have any shop stickers or anything you'd like to see me use in my video, make sure to send me that. The shop stickers, I'm going to start hanging those up somewhere, possibly on the bus. So make sure to send those to me and I'll return mine as well. Alright, well enough chit chat. We got a lot of work to do. There's a few things I want to address before we attempt to get back at that clutch. Here, let me show you. Alright guys, the first thing I wanted to do is get this seat mounted up. You know, it's not very exciting, but it's very necessary. And I was noticing that it looks like the seat did come out of a boat. Along with a few other things I found around this bus. And it's not the original seat, but it'll do. So let's get that thing mounted up. Well, it started raining on me. You know, it's Oregon, I'm used to that. But it did show me that we do have some water leaks. Just up under the dash here, under the windshield area, maybe where the cow meets the body. The rest of it's dry, but we do got a leak under there. Well, then after we get that seat bolted up, I want to work on installing the new ignition. Get it to where I could start this thing from the driver's seat. All right, here we go. Okay, let's get that old ignition out of there. Make sure you use the right tools. All right, well, I got the old ignition out. It's hanging up underneath here. Well, first thing I'm noticing uh, comparing the two is a uh, the wiring configuration is going to be a little bit different, so I'll have to look into that a little bit and make sure I get that right. Hey, the sun came back out. Yeah, it's definitely Oregon weather. I'm going to finish putting these radiator hoses on and cut some of this extra wiring out of the way. So let's go. Back to rain. Definitely Oregon weather. Well, that gas pedal is still rusted solid, so I ordered one of these uh, universal gas pedal assemblies. So I'm going to install that so we can get a working gas pedal. gas pedal from the driver's seat. 
Actually feels pretty good. All right. Moving on. All right, and there's uh, the carburetor side of that. And I was able to mount this bracket right there to the manifold. Worked out about perfect. And then up here to the carburetor. I also got a choke cable, so I'm gonna need to hook that up too. So I picked up one of these over the counter universal choke cables and well, let's get that installed. Get this old one out of here and put in the new one. All right, choke is working. Well, after I installed that new ignition, I realized it was the wrong one for what we got going on here. So, since I didn't have the keys to the one that was in it, I just pulled out the lock cylinder. I'll be able to use a screwdriver to start it for now. Not proper, but at least it'll work, hopefully. All right, I think it's time to address that clutch again. Now, you guys left lots of good comments and feedback and some tips on how I could uh, get that clutch to free up. So, before I go full send, I'm going to try a few of your guys' ideas. Well, first one I'm going to try is pretty simple. You guys suggested using a putty knife up between the flex plate and the clutch discs. So I'm going to get under there and get that clutch depressed, hold it in place with maybe a ratchet strap or something, and then use a putty knife and hammer that up between the flex plate and the clutch discs and see if I can get it to separate. So let's do that. Okay, well, I'm up under here under the bus, and I've used a ratchet strap to connect over to the clutch fork, which I've pulled taut and got the clutch fully depressed with that ratchet strap, which in turn is pulling on that clutch, still frozen to it, but I do see some separation in there. So now I'm gonna get the putty knife and try hammering it up through there and separating those two. Well, here's a closer look at that clutch and pressure plate. And you can slightly see a little bit of gap in there. So let's get that putty knife in there. I don't know if I could do this one hand on the phone, one hand on the putty knife, but it's already going up in there. So I'm just gonna work this thing around and see if I can't get it to pop loose. I, I took my putty knife. Damn it. Give it back. All right. Well, I'm just going to keep working at it. Oh my goodness. It's free. This came free. Oh yeah. Oh, that thing's horrible looking. But hey, it's free. Oh man, heck yeah. Victory! Hey, right, get me out of here. Well guys, that clutch freed up pretty easy. I was expecting to put up more of a fight. Um, but that gets us so much closer to driving this thing out of here. Uh, let's see what else we need to take care of first. Well, before I attempt to drive this, I'm gonna need to get some kind of brakes. Uh, I'm going to take this old crusty master cylinder off and put on the one that we took off recently for the hydraulic clutch system. I'm not sure if it'll work, but let's put some fluid in that other one mounted up here and run some brake lines and see if we can get some kind of brakes. Let's go. Well, after attempting to get that old master cylinder to work, it was a fail. It was just frozen up. Um, I need some kind of brakes on it, though. I'm probably going to have to order a master cylinder and get that installed. Or maybe I could get the e-brake to work. Maybe we could try to get the e-brake to work and use that. So let's try that. Well, here's that e-brake handle. and I've hit it with plenty of penetrating fluid and got it loosened up. I think it might work. I'm going to go underneath and look at it and see what we're dealing with. Okay, I'm back up underneath here under the bus and looking at the e-brake here. It's on the 
tail shaft of the transmission right at the drive line and it looks a little rusty I'm gonna work on it for a second see if it'll free up any more than it is and we'll check to see if this thing is working and we'll just use this as a brake if need be all right I think I got the e-brake working guys yeah, I don't know how well it'll work but I'm gonna say that's good to go all right, I think I could start it and run it from the driver's seat now. Well, I had to replace a, another spark plug wire again. Those damn rats. That's why the soap is there. Somebody left in the comment that that helps keep the rats away, so I'll give that a try. All right, guys, I'm ready to try starting it from the driver's seat. See how well it works. Maybe put it in gear. Let's go. Clutch in. Choke on. Turn the key. You hear the fuel pump? See if it'll idle. I'm going to adjust that carburetor a little bit. Well, I can start her and run her from the driver's seat now. guys I could run her from the driver's seat you know how close we are to driving let me show you now there's only a couple things keeping us from driving at this point one being this very flat tire, which I could attempt to air up, and with luck, it'll hold the air. And then other than that, we just have to make a road. Because I'm telling you, there is no way out of here. All right, guys, I think we did it. She's ready to run. Now I'm going to have to save that for the next video, because I'm going to have to clear a path out of here. But stay tuned. Is that next video we are literally going to drive this bus out of here so please share subscribe tell your friends and i appreciate all of you watching hey guys now i already showed you in the last video how well super clean worked well now it's your opportunity to win some for free super clean reached out to me to do a free subscriber giveaway so for your opportunity to win some free super clean all you have to do is have a United States mailing address. You must be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment down below. Tell me where you're from. One comment per subscriber and I'm gonna choose randomly one subscriber out of the first hundred comments to win some super clean. So good luck.